There are quite a few videos out there explaining the differences between a $100 suit and a $1,000 suit. However, we wanted to give you our take on the matter. And coming from a manufacturing background, we wanted to dispel a few myths along the way. We wanted to give you, the viewer, a better understanding on this topic so you can make an informed decision when buying your next suit. Our clients always ask us, what are the differences? Why do some suits cost $200 and others cost, let's say, up as excess of $4,000? And our answer is always the same. Although there are many reasons to why this may be, I'm going to break down today three reasons to why. Only three. And they are fit, fabric, and construction. And all of them cross over. Let me explain. The fit plays a big role in our purchasing decision. We all want a suit to fit the best it can. However, there is a big myth out there suggesting that a cheaper suit doesn't as fit as well as a more expensive suit. But this is also subjective. See, a cheaper suit will be made with cheaper materials, cheaper construction, and it can result in a suit that gives you less maneuverability and it can feel heavy and a little bit restrictive. However, the pattern may not be as bad as you think. You see, there are four main constructive types when it comes to a suit. You have a fully fused or a glue suit, a floating chest piece, half canvas, and a full canvas. And they all have respective prices to go along with those constructions. And in most cases, a floating chest piece garment up into a fully canvas garment will be made with more expensive materials, including the internals that it is made with. And as a result, you will get a suit that will be more comfortable to wear. It will be much more easier to move around in. Majority of the time, when it comes to menswear and suiting, the price is almost reflective of what internals are used to make the garment, and I'll explain. A fused garment or a fused suit, and another word for it is also a glued suit, will be potentially made with fabrics like a poly blend, poly wool, poly viscose, and the magical microfiber, which is not exactly the most beautiful of fabrics out there. Suits that are made with a floating chest piece, half canvas or full canvas will be made with either one or two fabrics, a poly wool or a pure wool. Canvassing, also known as horsehair, does give you more maneuverability. It is a natural fiber. It is sewn onto the garment rather than ironed on or fused on. It breathes better. It molds to your body shape after some time of wearing the garment and it will withstand a dry cleaning process a lot better than a few suit. Once a suit goes through the dry cleaning process, the chemicals involved, the heat involved, Involved, and the pressing involved plays a big part on what happens to the internals inside. With few suits, the glue starts to peel away from the fabric. Now we've all seen a suit that starts to bubble from the front, the shoulders start to look a bit tired, and even the lapel starts to look a little bit tired also. That's a result from the dry cleaning process. And when you do see the bubbling on your garment, it is a good indication of a poorly made garment or a garment that is inexpensive to make. Here at Formal Red, we do offer an entry level garment. However, we've based the pattern on our high end suits giving our clients a better fitting garment for less. Although there is a big price difference between the two, the fits are identical. Now, just like fashion, the fit is subjective. Now, although there are tailoring rules that we all need to follow, some people just have a different opinion on how they like their garments to fit. Now, to understand this a little bit better, we need to talk about construction. Most suits out there, even at the higher end of the scale, are machine made or semi-machine made. Just because something is made by a machine, meaning there is someone actually behind the sewing machine making the suit, doesn't mean it's going to be cheap. It all comes down to the materials used in the suit making process. Everything from the fabric, everything from the internals, the canvassing, the wadding, the fusing, that all plays a big part on the cost of your suit. Now we have suits we offer off the rack that start from $1,100. They're machine made, made by someone, made in Europe, and they are a brilliant garment. And the internals are at the highest quality. And we also have suits for $300. The fit is totally identical, however the internals that we've made these suits with are completely different. Now a bespoke suit, a one-off suit made specifically for you, the amount of hours involved and the skill level involved to produce this suit is mind-boggling and they are going to be much more expensive. Master tailors, especially from the Savile Row Association in London, put hours into their work. They create art and more importantly, they create a specific pattern just for your body shape. Now, usually what goes hand in hand with these high-end garments is a high quality fabric. Now, fabrics will play a huge role in the quality and of course the price of your suit. Now we will make a dedicated video on fabrics in itself. There is just way too much information to cover, but I will touch on it briefly. In essence, more expensive high quality fabrics are processed differently 
than their inexpensive counterparts. In short, once the wool has been sheared, it is sent off to be processed and cleaned of its impurities such as grease, straw, and dirt. And companies like Dorme use a special technique to get the best out of the wool. They use fresh water, which leaves the fabric unharmed without ruining the quality from the source. It does take longer, but it does leave the fabric nice and soft. Another way that is found in mass-produced fabrics is where the wool is cleaned with acid. It is a lot more quicker to do, which does bring the price down, but it also damages the wool in the process, leaving the wool a little bit more rough and less luxurious. It takes a higher level of the manufacturing process to produce a high-end garment, as well as high-end fabrics. In short, cheaper quality garments are made with shortcuts, and higher-end quality garments utilize the best possible processes out there to get the best possible result, resulting in a more expensive garment. Now, all these processes that are involved are priced accordingly, and it's one thing that I really appreciate about menswear and suiting in general. Now, when you know what questions to ask and you know what to look for, it's definitely gonna help you along the way on your suiting journey, and hopefully, you can find the right garment for you. Now, if you've made it this far, we wanna say a big thank you for watching up until this point. Don't forget to smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe either. If there's anything else that you wanna see us do in the future, please leave it in the comments below and we will see you in the next one.